It's a relatively new way to celebrate the 4th of July in Amarillo. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Blessing Wilkesman. Now, today marks Amarillo's second year of celebrating the 4th of July early in downtown. KMR Local Force Kaylee Green was there and gives us a glimpse into the Route 66 celebration. That's tonight's top story. I'm a rock It's a day full of music, food, family, and even fireworks in downtown Amarillo. This is our Route 66 uh, 4th of July celebration. Um, we're excited to be downtown. You know, it's always it's our second year. You know, uh, it's fun to bring people downtown. You know, there's such excitement downtown. We're just we're excited to be able to do this again this year. Harrison says putting on an event of this size is a big undertaking, but it pays off, especially for businesses in downtown and vendors who come for the event. It's a good way to get out of the house on a Saturday afternoon, come and meet everybody, walk around and see what's going on for the day. This gives everybody a chance to come look around and truck owners or food truck owners, you know, they all get business and they might not have had if they sit at home. And as downtown revitalization projects continue, it's a positive way for people to come together and celebrate the the 4th of July a little bit earlier without missing the parade in Canyon or any other traditions. Everybody kind of comes together. It's the Amarillo way. And you know, it's refreshing to know we have such a city that will come together and be happy and be excited and, and have a good time. So we're here in downtown with, we wanted to show you a live look at some of the fireworks as the Route 66 celebration wraps up. We're not sure if they've been delayed or canceled just yet, but we'll be here to bring you a live shot whenever they pop. Live in downtown Amarillo, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. For now, we'll send it back to Blessing in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Kaylee. Yeah, while we're here in the studio, we heard a little bit of fireworks, but we're waiting for the final uh, finale later on the show. And just like Kaylee said, once that happens, we'll give you a live look. Now, in case you missed today's celebration, there's a full list of Fourth of July events. You can find them on myhighplains.com. Now, a piece of American history makes its way to the Texas Panhandle. We'll have that story for you in just a moment. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Brittany Trumpy for a first look at your forecast. Hey, Brittany, I know a lot of people are concerned about those fireworks. You were talking a little bit early. Maybe the wind may have be a fact, maybe a factor in the delay, possibly. Yes, there was some discussion earlier on with the National Weather Service and some event managers about some strong winds that are pushing into the area right now. If we look at our satellite and radar, we do have one severe thunderstorm warning going on right now for Moore and Sherman County. This thunderstorm. Has has sent a very strong gust front ahead of it. You can kind of see that return on the radar. It's about to reach Amarillo. This is maybe the reason for the delay with the fireworks right now. They're concerned that if they set the fireworks off now and the winds come pushing through, we're going to see uh, some of those fireworks kind of get blown out of the way. So they might just be holding off to see how this develops. I'll have more information about the storms and your full forecast coming up in just a little bit. But for right now, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Brittany. We're all waiting for that grand finale. All right. So two people are in the hospital after a Friday night wreck. One of the drivers has life threatening injuries. And while police were dispatched to a car wreck on the intersection of Bell Street and the southbound service road for I 27, they say a man riding a motorized bicycle was going northbound on Bell Street. Now, as reported to officers, the man disregarded the red light and was hit by a car going southbound on the service road for I 27. Now, police say the man was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries, while the driver who hit him has non life threatening injuries. Now,